last time, on island camp. The teams were on balance beams to make sure they don't fall into the water. A little they do not know that the logs as beams can tilt, it made it difficult on the teams to stay on. However, James revealed Jose's secret out to Tyler and Sadie. Which Tyler was disappointed at Jose. Then the gaming hardcores won their crown back after Tyler was the last one to fall off into the water. In the end, Naomi and Jose were on the chopping block, and Jose was close to be out of the game making Naomi leaving the island. There are 11 campers left. And who is the next one to be out of the game? It starts right here, right now. On island, camp. I can't believe that you and James won for us. Yeah, that was awesome. Anyways, as long as James doesn't mess the trust that he got, we should be good. Kathy, can I talk with you for a few minutes? Um, sure. Um, why is Tracy look pissed? I have no idea why Tracy is pissed. Why the hell you gave James your trust, Kathy? He's going to betray us after this. Okay, first of all, I know that. And second of all, why the hell are you getting mad at me for? Oh, you really want to know? I'm sick and tired of you bossing me around, and during that one ceremony that we had, I was the one that voted you and made a comment about you. Why the hell did you do that? I thought you'd be awesome being in the supergroup, and now you're treating me like shit. Well, you're on your own, girl. Fine. I guess I'll be on my own. I can't believe that Tracy was the one who was framing me, after all of our supergroup alliance work, and she decides to backstab and go up against me. Oh she will be out of here. I can't believe that James made us lose and taunted Jose in the middle of the challenge. Yeah, like we finally got rid of Naomi. Which to my opinion, she would have stayed onto our beam for a little bit longer. But it doesn't affect the fact that James wanted Jose to be out. Exactly, I agree with you on that. Yo. Dudes, huh? huh? Can I talk to you guys about what happened yesterday's challenge? Sure, it isn't something bad. Yeah, Roy, remember that you told me to stop James taunting to Jose? Yeah, and he still did it anyway. If you guys don't know, Jose kept a secret from you guys. Don't say it, you dumbass. Why? The fact that James was annoyed by you talking about the one million dollars. Now, hang on a second. Jose, is this really true? Look, even though it was a secret, I don't even care about the one million dollars. All I care about is you guys. That's all. James thinks I still think about it, but I don't. Wait, so you're telling the truth? Yes, Roy, it is the truth. Man, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to make you angry. I thought you wanted that. It's okay. As long as you don't do that again. We all good. Yeah, I guess you're right. Attention campers. Meet me at the ceremony for your next challenge. Let's go boys. Well, that was strange to see Jose so mad at Tyler. Damn, I haven't made these confession videos for a while. But here's an update. We're down two, six of us left. And hopefully we can win on this next challenge. James. We're going to win and there's nothing you can stop me and my friends. This is for revenge. Alright campers. In this challenge, you guys will answer trivia questions from every question I have. If you get the question right for the team, your team gets a point. If you get the question wrong for your team, your team won't get a point. The best 5 out of 7 points will win the challenge for today. Now does everyone understand what I said? Yes sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Here we go. The Gaming Hardcores. Who invented the NES? Nintendo. 
Correct. One point for the gaming hardcores, the Crystal Swords. What is my name? John Andrews. Correct. One point for the Crystal Swords, the gaming hardcores. What is the most popular Wii game of all time? Oh, Wii Sports. Correct. Another point for the gaming hardcores, the Crystal Swords. Who is Michael Jackson? He is the king of pop. Correct. Another point for the Crystal Swords. All right, teams. The next two questions is worth two points. If you get the question right, you keep the two points. If you somehow the get question wrong, you won't keep the two points. So here we go. This challenge is getting boring every second. The gaming hardcores. Why did this show came to existence? Um, it's like a game where you do challenges and be the last one standing? Not quite. But you guys get half of the question right. So one point for the gaming hardcores. Guys, we have a chance to go ahead of them and win the challenge. The Crystal Swords. What year did Star Wars came out for the very first time on screen? 1977. Correct. You guys get two points for that. The Crystal Swords are now in the lead for one more point. Crap. They only have one point from winning. Kathy, what are we going to do? To be honest, this challenge is boring and I don't want to hear it, Zoe. Why? Is there something bothering you? I'll talk about it later. Right now, I just want this challenge to end. Okay, then. The Gaming Hardcores What state in the U.S. has the Empire State Building? New York. Correct. Another point for the gaming hardcores. After this challenge, I'm done with this game. The Crystal Swords. This is your last question. If you get this question right, you win the challenge. If you don't, the gaming hardcores will steal the game from you. So, who played Barry Allen from the Flash CW? Wait, it's Grant Gustin. Correct, and you guys won the challenge. Let's freaking go, Jose. The gaming hardcores. You guys will be having your ceremony later tonight. Well, I know that we didn't win this challenge. Until the ceremony happens. This will change everything. Okay, I know it's going to be very off, but bear with me. James didn't frame me with the votes. It was Diana. Wait, she's the one who framed you? No, that's bullcrap. How the hell she is the one who framed you? Remember what you heard from the morning. Oh, you're right. But still, that's bullcrap. Anyways, the host is coming. How would I know that Kathy is telling the truth? The Gaming Hardcores I'm surprised that you guys almost had it in the bag. But it's now time to vote. James, I feel like I don't want to trust you. So you are out of here. I'm sorry James, but you are out of here. After all this time, I thought Ooh, Tracy will be my friend and now she is a coward. So I'm voting her off. I'm voting for James because the way how he was quiet the entire time from each elimination that HSD happened so far. So he's out of here. Before Kathy sees that I have the real statue of John. In case if I'm about to be out of the game, I'm voting for Tracy because she is the one who framed Kathy as I heard. Alright, the votes are in. I have four cards. If I call your name, you are safe. If you don't, you are out of the game, Monica, Zai, Kathy, and Tracy. You guys are all safe. Hold the try there. What, what the, the hell? hell? You bastard. I thought that you gave that to me for the trust. Oh, this statue is actually the real statue of John. The one that I gave you is the fake one. I can't believe this. James found the statue of me. That means he won't be going home anytime soon. Wait, if he has the statue? Then who is the next person with the most votes? Well, to my surprise, you're the next one to go home, Tracy. That means you are out of here. You know what? I'm glad that I'm finally able to get off of this island. Not only that, I don't even care about the prize. So fuck all of you. Um. You guys can return to your cabin.
Also, James, you may return the statue to me. Here you go. Tracy, wait. No, screw you as well, host. I will never come back to your game. Well, this is great. Moving on. Six campers down, ten more to go. What is going to happen with Kathy and her alliance? Will Zoe save the alliance, or James tries to ruin their alliance? Stay tuned in the next episode of Island Camp. <laughs>